joy, joy, joy. This is Swami Sadashiva Tirtha. And today we're going to talk about the books we use in our Ayurveda certification program. The first book, the most core book, is my Ayurveda Encyclopedia. It's about close to 700 pages. This book we'll be using every single month of the two-year program. And this book covers everything. People have called it the, the Bible of Ayurveda. It covers all the theory, pet therapy, herbal therapy, aromatherapy, color therapy, gem therapy, massage, yoga, thousands and thousands and thousands of health conditions, Ayurvedic research, research on the herbs. That's a huge book. And it, of course, it can get overwhelming. So what I did was I wrote this other book called the Ayurveda Primer. And this book is the most common questions people have asked me about Ayurveda over the decades. So probably it's a question that you and your clients are going to have. You could take your Ayurvedic dosha test here, just like in the encyclopedia. You can have your food plans here. There's even meditations, three or four different types of meditations to guide you, to guide your clients, to get you off on the right foot. It's like a quick start guide. Since this is a spiritually based Ayurveda course, meaning Ayurveda says the cause of most physical conditions is poor digestion. In my decades of practicing Ayurveda, I found the cause of most digestive issues is stress from the vagus nerve down into the stomach. So I found a deeper relationship to illness. And then I found when I was able to help calm the stress, I found the deeper level, which was a lack of spiritual connection. And spiritual, I, is nothing religious about that. It's whatever you believe is spiritual. That's what I encourage you to, to develop. And so it's very important where I've had, I've had doctors graduate from my course and for reasons of not increasing their insurance, didn't want to use herbs as a therapy. They just used the spiritual counseling and they healed their patients in, in days. So uh, spiritual healing is a very profound and it's very important. And to help share that, we have a number of books. This is a book that I wrote. It's a commentary I wrote on the Bhagavad Gita. It's the essential book, the essence of all Vedic thinking. I use modern day examples. It's called Bhagavad Gita for modern times. And so the examples are from our times because how else we don't, my students said to me, we don't have chariots. We don't use bows and arrows. I have a nine to five job. The explanations in the other Gitas don't help me understand what Krishna is saying. The, this is universal uh, wisdom about living in tune with nature, with, with your own spiritual self. And so I said, okay, and I wrote the commentary using examples from our life, just to make it more practical. We also then go on to a book of, of the, called the Upanishads, and it was written by Swami Nikhilananda from the Ramakrishna order. And that's another book where we go deep into the spiritual insights, the universal insights. And also we have two very authentic, more modern books, modern meaning in the 30s, 40s, or 50s, I'm not sure when these were written. These were written by my guru's guru, my grandfather guru. And this takes us deep into the spirituality, into a kundalini shakti, into direct experience of the life force, uh, which we call Siddha Yoga. And uh, this is the Yogavani instructions for the attainment of Siddha Yoga. This comes directly from India. No influence from America at all. Those are the books. That I'm Swami Sadashiva Tirtha, wishing you all wellness and joy, joy, joy. <laughs>